Hello, I'm back now. Sorry it took me so long, but I've been busy making other videos. And today I will be showing you some more of my haunted doll collection. This is Cam. She is another one of my haunted dolls. Her original dress that she is wearing is black. You can't see it under this dress, but she really wanted me to get her a new dress. So I put this Barbie dress on her. She is also wearing this white cape with trim. And she is a really cute doll. This doll belonged to her before she died. And she tells me that it was a gift from her mom. Her name is Camellia. Or Camille. But I call her Cam for short. When I hold her, I feel a bit sick sometimes, and I can sense the spirit in her. When you are in a place that is haunted, or you have haunted objects, when you feel sick, that means that a spirit is present. Um, I do not get a whole lot of activity from her. Like, nothing really moves around or anything. But she does talk to me with telepathy. And I can pick it up. I can also sense the spirit in her. I get very calm vibes from her. She is a very friendly spirit and at some point I tend to do, I plan to do a talking board session with her. I don't know much of what her life was like and when I bought her off of eBay I wasn't given much information about her, but she is haunted by a positive spirit. What I have found out while she has been with me is when she was alive, she was a witch, a white witch. That is what she is telling me, that she was a white witch. And I had this witch's hat from one of my Barbie dolls and she really wanted it. So I gifted her with this hat and she really loves it. I don't get a lot of activity from her. She mainly just talks to me through telepathy. But she is a positive spirit and she tells me that she likes dogs and cats, especially dogs. She kept asking me to buy her a dress. So in the end I gave her this Barbie dress and the witch's hat that she's wearing because of her being a witch. But she, she gives me very positive vibes and I sense the spirit within her. Next we have this haunted soft toy, which is a two-piece set. They are plush anteaters. 
and they are haunted by the spirit of a seven-year-old boy whose name is James. He is haunted by a positive spirit and he haunts both of these toys so one time his spirit will be more active in that one than other times it will be more active in that one. I have also brought him to see a friend of mine and she can sense the spirit in him as well. What I was told about him from the seller of eBay is that he is haunted by a little boy named James who was seven years old when he died. His mother died when he was very young. He was close to his mother. So he was raised by his father until he died. And his dad wasn't cruel to him, but he was very hard on him and very strict. He loved his wife very much and when she passed he blamed it on to James. Um, he's telling me now that she died from childbirth. So she didn't die when he was young, she actually died from childbirth which is very sad. I'm getting a sadness from him now like he's crying but yeah she um, she died in childbirth and he was raised by his father he was left by his father to be raised and his father was very hard on him but he, he has attached to me He's attached to me now and he sees me like a father figure and he even calls me dad and daddy sometimes. When he was dying he saw this spirit in his room like a white light. It was a very loving energy. I think it was his mum and she told him to grab hold of these two toys and that everything was going to be okay. So he grabbed hold of these two and he held them close to him. Then when he passed away his spirit went into them. I don't get a lot of activity from him. Like with Cam, he just mainly talks to me through telepathy and he will tell me the things that he likes and doesn't like, things like that. But I do plan on doing a spirit box session with, with some of my haunted dolls at some point. I have this spirit box and another spirit box. I just need to get them set up and when I do I will do a session with them. <laughs>